so it's one of the other deal. And Graciela Mejones. Our top story today is on the increasing job opportunities due to industrialization. Yes, industrialization is now the number one producer of jobs. It has surpassed the number of job opportunities once offered by plantations and agriculture. There has been a lot of talk about whether it's good or bad, but the factory definitely made it a record, remarking historical event. According to the Bureau of Domestic Workers, since industrialization began, about 60% more jobs have been created. Yes, these industry industries need a lot more laborers, including women and children, in order to work machinery that will, that will mass produce and items in demand. This means production has affected daily life and has even caused migration to centers of industry. Due to all of those factors, we have had exponential growth in the population. Add to uh, on our scene reporter Wendy. Talking about today is industrial Today we will meet with various members of our society and learn what has been the effect of industrialization on them and on their How do you feel about industrialization? I believe that industrialization has brought a lot more industries in the world of labor. Since the day, there has been a lot of strikes in various sectors. I personally am a good child labor of Industrialization affected you. Overall, I think this is a good thing in the economy, but I think we have very unfair wages. My entire family works long hours every day, but we only receive very little money for it. How do you feel about industrialization? I think that due to industrialization, a lot of the people have moved into cities closer to industry so that it's easier to communicate to and from work. Industrialization affected you? I strongly believe that due to industrialization, the working conditions have lowered. Things of industry still maintain very good hygiene, but the labor is more today to buy than with clean working conditions. With these testimonies, the industrialization has come to make changes in our society and has impacted the course of history. The story we got was that Edward Jenner was the person who discovered the vaccine based on cowpox infections. Also, he invented the vaccine for smallpox, which was the first vaccine invented. Eventually he noticed that the milk plants never got infected because they had cowpox. So that how he got the idea for the vaccine. The vaccine was the first vaccine or injection to prevent an illness. Smallpox had taken many lives in industrial cities and the vaccine made a big difference. On 14 May 1796, Jenner tested his hypothesis by including James Phillips, an eight-year-old boy who was the son of Jenner's gardener. Smallpox had taken many lives in industrial cities and the vaccine made a big difference. According to sources, the man, he was the man who saved more lives than the, man, than the work of any human. Back with us on, tomorrow on Channel 66. Have a nice evening.